This is figure 1 4 from Feynman's lectures on physics volume 1 chapter 1. This figure intends to illustrate the hexagonal symmetry of ice. Ice consists of oxygen and hydrogen atom and in this figure the small white circles represent the hydrogen atom and the large big ones represent oxygen. Now let us read Feynman's text. Figure 1-4 is an in invented arrangement of ice and although it contains many of the correct features of ice, it is not the true arrangement. One of the correct features is that there is a part of symmetry that is hexagonal. You can see that if we turn the picture around an axis by 120 degree, the picture returns to itself. However, hexagonal symmetry means a rotation by 360 by 6, 6 equal to 60 degree and not 120 degree. So there is a mistake in the text. It should not be 120 degree. It should be 60 degree. But let's go back to the figure now and look at the central hexagon, central hexagon a little bit more carefully. If you see the ox hydrogen pairs appear only on the alternate sides. It's appearing here, but it's not appearing here. Then again, it's appearing here. It's not appearing here. Thus, this hexagon is not representing a six-fold symmetry, but only a three-fold symmetry, which we represent by a small triangle here. Now, any periodic pattern which has six-fold symmetry will also have three-fold symmetry. Thus, the mistake here is that although the intention is to show six-fold symmetry, the figure is centered on a three-fold axis. This will be clearer if we look at this extended diagram. The red box shows the frame of the original figure, which is centered on the three-fold symmetry here as we just explained. But if we look around this threefold, there are many sixfold axes, in fact, three to be precise. Now, if you look at this hexagon, this is a nice perfect sixfold hexagon because now the hydrogen pairs are occurring on all the six sides. So this is a sixfold symmetry. So a better version of the figure will be to center the frame on the six-fold symmetry axis rather than the three-fold symmetry. Thank you.